University of California student allegedly tapped into people's cell phone to steal their cryptocurrency. Richard Yon Lee, 21, took over at least 40 people's cell phones from his dorm room, prosecutors said. Let's see here, continue reading. It was the worst kind of wrong number, a 21-year-old student at the University of California, San Diego, allegedly commanded, commanded the cell phone accounts of at least 40 people to plunder their cryptocurrency wallets, prosecutors said. You know, what's interesting is today in the news, there's something from Apple, um, a security breach, and they have a, a patch. So just you, you, you go in there and you download it because uh, people are able to get in, get around to your cell phone. And here's this guy doing exactly this. Richard Young Yuan Lee of Hercules, California, is accused of operating what's called a SIM swap scam from his dorm room at Argo Hall. A SIM card or subscriber identity module is the chip inside a phone that connects a phone with its number and account. They say. Lee conspired with a cell phone company employee to have unsuspecting victim SIMs and cell phone accounts transferred to one contained in a stolen iPhone he possessed. Once Lee had gained access to the victim's accounts, prosecutors said he and other unnamed conspirators would use the phone's two-factor authentication authentication credentials to reset passwords and gain access to the victim's email, bank accounts, and cryptocurrency wallets. In at least one case, prosecutors say at least stole a significant amount of a New Orleans doctor's cryptocurrency and then tried to blackmail him into handing over an additional $640,000 worth of Bitcoin by threatening to share nude photos taken from the doctor's email with people he knew, according to court filings. Federal prosecutors in Louisiana said that in total, Lee activated at least 40 numbers on his iPhone, AAPL, what's this, AL 0.6. Between July and December 2018, Lee's lawyer Bruce Ashley said his client was a bright and very earnest young man who had good academic records, but declined to come. And what does that got to do with it? <laughs> Being bright, you know. So why didn't he use that for to do good? instead of evil. Lee was initially charged in the scam in June 2020, but the case was recently expanded as prosecutors determined that he had allegedly scammed far, far more victims than initially thought. In February, prosecutors charged cell phone company employee Stephen Daniel the Fiore, 36 of Bra Brandon, Florida, for allegedly transferring control of victim accounts to Lee in exchange for $500 a day. The cell phone company wasn't identified. Isn't that something? So here's a, a college student in his dorm committing uh, criminal acts. And you could be a victim. It's that easy.